Hello and welcome. This is episode. I have absolutely got no idea. Uh, two of my modded survival let's play. Uh, do you remember last time I just started off, hit a veritable gold mine of resources and those other bits? Um, today I am going to be making a couple of quick tools, etc, etc. Um, once it gets to daylight, I am going to be going exploring. And... See what happens from there. Okay then, so first things first. As you saw last time, these are rubies which can be made into various tools and equipment. So I'm making a ruby pickaxe and a ruby sword. Yes, I know I have various amounts of other tools, but I might as well make all of that into planks while I'm here. Uh, I need one more chest. The biggest thing I need to do is I need to find either some sheep or some thingy bobby. Um, and either that's um sheep or spiders or string or. Whatever the hell you call, yeah, I know you know what I mean. I know what I mean. Whether I can actually say it is a different matter. Now, as you can see, I'm just heading into any eye to have a look for what is known as sickles. As you can see, it's three cobblestone. It's three cobblestone with a stick. So a stick there and three cobblestone. Now this is a useful little tool when it comes to grass and clearing massive areas of grass in a single track. So, see, I am only going to be showing mining for the first two or three episodes. Pretty boring and drab. I know after that I will be editing it all out. But so I'm playing this the way that they're meant to be played. And what can I say? Everybody starts off mining these basic resources out. But don't worry, I know it makes for very boring bloody viewing, so second got these and drop these off. I'm gonna be heading upstairs, waiting for it to become daytime, then heading out to explore in and around the jungle. Flint for a bow eventually. Very nice. Okay. Do believe we have that. And then up we go. the top. Um, probably should let you know about... Hmm. Not 100% sure what I've said. <laughs> Not good at waffling onto myself. Well, when I know others are going to hear me.
Look at that. It's daytime. Sweet. So, going to use what little sticks? Ah, get up there, yeah. Get. And I do believe I've just heard a spider. So I'm going to head out. If I can find it. Come on, Mr. Spider. You stingy little... No string. Seriously. Oh. I can say what a bloody git. Now... Uh, the other thing I need to be doing after I've done all this is looking for Aha Perfect Alright Now you see these are Industrial power two rubber trees. They produce. They have these little sections on them here. When you use a special item on them, you get rubber or sticky resin from them. You then place the sticky resin in a furnace, and you make rubber, which is the basis of a large majority of uh, industrial craft items and reagents and would you look at that in the distance Strangle's holding all full of surprises for me isn't it this is I do I'd have to admit very very bloody surprising ah Okay. Need to be looking where I'm going. Until I get some sheep. Get a bed. I will not be starting off in my little house and God knows my sense of direction in Minecraft is Ow. Shockingly crap. Like this village is sat on top of some caves. These villagers don't like that, do they? Now, oh, bit of lag. Now, one thing I did used to love about villagers is just coming in. That's what I think it is. Yes. Just coming in and systematically wiping these buggers out because they do my nothing. Let's see what's in here. Uh, a couple of apples, some gold, some bread, and iron. And of course, free box. Not going to turn that down, am I? this. Alright, now the next biggest thing I think I'm going to need is Wow! See why it lagged there a minute ago? It's uh, quite a large volcano there. Might be worth going to explore in a minute. Alright. As you can see, the sickle harvests a large area in one go. Let's 
Okay. Not 100% sure with the radius, etc. of the sickle, but I think it's a 3x3 three three grid around. I think it's 3x3 three three around the uh, central square that you click on, but I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't quote me on it. But. can see very useful get me tons of seeds means if I know I'm wasting a hell of a lot of seed growth but quite frankly it's just gonna sit here and go to waste Whereas, I'm going to recycle it. Ooh. This begs the question, where are the iron golems? Unless, they've all decided to go underground. Ah, now this. Been hoping for. Now, flax seeds are very, very good little things. They enable you to grow flax plants, pretty obviously. And where's the sun setting? I, mean, I don't want to be hanging around too much longer. I will have to... Whoa, that is a big volcano. That is a very big volcano. Alright, one last little bit just before I start running for home. Is... Sheep! Always love finding my uh, Welsh brothers over here. And of course, with. Alright, one more, one more. Where are you? And now we have three. Okay. So. I do believe this is time to be going home, making a little sleeping area, and then in the morning, making a little farm. I do believe it's I'd rather hope. Ah, there we go, yep. I also need to come back and harvest some of the sticky resin. And then once I've done that, and my trees around where I live, or where my little house is, are fully grown. Cut away so much about rubber production. No, yes. Don't go through a jungle. As it's getting towards night, I know everyone will be. Oh, I know people will be face palming themselves, going, Why the hell are you doing that? But, as you can see, I could have just run around, edge of it's just there, really. But, why would I bother ever doing things the easy way? Where is the thumb? Okay, it does pick up saplings as well. Okay, something to remember. Okay. Uh, 
three bits of wood. Okay, pretty successful haul from the village. So I can safely say that's been quite a good day today. Okay, so let's look around. What do I need to make? I think today is chopping down trees, getting some more wood, or as our American cousin call it, lumber. Of course, there'll be one block as normal. Ah, Thorncraft slime. Anything? You boring git. Um, those are part of the, uh, I wouldn't say aggressive mobs, but there are Thorncraft slimes. They are normally present, or they become more common, I believe, during places, well, in places where there's high beast content. So, hopefully, the uh, beast content around here will be nice and good for doing experiments with Thorncraft in the future which will be very good and then again as a very basic rule of thumb uh, jungles that's the word Jungles do have quite a uh, nice beast content in them. Right, so now I need to make one of these. So I'm going to need to take five of them. Going to need some of them. Going to need that. And going to need three of them. Can anybody see what I'm going to do? Well, yeah, you should, because this is pretty damn obvious, if you, <laughs> if you ask me. Right. Okay, so for now, let's plant you there. And if I remember correctly... There was that little twinkling there, that's a wisp. They don't attack you unless you attack them. Thank God. Because they are quite vicious and they will kill you. Very, very quickly. Alright, so let's have... As you can see, Mr. Annoying, I want to walk everywhere, all over everything of your stuff, pig, just came to try to say hello. Okay. So now, what we need to do 
is along here and of course me being the massive noob I am did that All right now I do believe that should be six yep very good which means For the time being, I should be getting off the top of my head. What? Well, six, twelve, so that's four pieces of bread, five, six, seven pieces of bread per harvest. Now, with my Wood I need to be producing just for now is you can see these things these are called tree taps now these are very good little devices they enable you to Whoa, where the hell did that come from? Just a slime trying to kill me. Little git. That is why you should always, always, always check around you as you leave your house. That's why it's always a bad idea to have one stationed very bloody close to a bloody jungle. Okay. Trees are going down. Sun is going down, not the trees. Oh god, my word farts sometimes. As you can see, achievement there for getting sticky resin. Now, as you can see, if you leave it, you can just about make out there that there's it's still there. Now, if you leave it, eventually, what normally happens is they will regrow. This enables you to constantly farm them. As long as you don't keep clicking on it, which you can do. However, we've been in the middle of... Can only be described as... A lovely addition to the game, but bloody annoying at the same time. I will be dropping these down. As you can see there, not a single between two trees there was only one. And of course I didn't bring my axe. Not a good start. For getting something as basic as an axe when I'm going into a jungle. You see occasionally it will just drop out a little bit of resin as it comes out. Be very careful not to attack the wisps even by accident because they will burn the living crap out as well. If they burn they'll just beat the living crap out of you. Okay. Now I can use as you can see look come around here and finish off. So you can see a couple of the Thorncraft wisps. You can see some of the specialist trees which only ever grow in high beast areas. Now the wisps can and do drop. Whoa! 
Just seen a creep up. The wisps do. Aha, sugar canes. So I am getting distracted now. The wisps are a good source of these crystals if. And I stress the word if. You can harvest them well. Fortunately, they are quite a pain in the ass to kill, and they are much easier with spelunking. You're most likely, or even setting up a crystal farm itself, you are much, much more likely to uh, generate more doing it that way. So they should really be sort of last resort options. As you can see, my wheat is growing, as is my flax. I'll throw the chicken egg and get nothing. Not really too fast. Shall I throw this bit and this bit. Shall save that sapling. So some dirt in. I will be planting the sugar cane in the morning, so I'll keep that on me. Put the tree taps away and quickly run out and plant. Rubber tree sapling. Then oh, don't want to do that. What I want to be doing is making it so I could see over and then Placing it there. So nothing can get up. And away into the land of Nod. Okay. So this is day four of my adventures through. I need be so much dirt. But I could potentially increase. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Ah, one of my rubber trees has expanded. Now, this is not going to be a permanent home. As you can see, scouting always very good especially when it comes Let's see if I can get one Okay, I think that was uh, pretty successful. Aha! Got our first Thorncraft artifact here. Zombie brain. They can be used for making or researching various things and using ingredients in a few of the more, depending on your rule horror taste, I suppose, how grisly you consider it to be. Okay. So I shall... Should be long enough. At least just 
for basically just for now. completely fill up this just yet but it's a good start very good start okay the next thing that I'm gonna need is work up some industrial craft machines big thing I'm gonna need There's a couple of big devices I'm gonna need which are going to be we have to find out won't you and I do believe me chopping down this is going to be a very good point We'd I think I'm going to be sticking with the half hour episode length. Do seem to be quite a um, good place to be stopping. So, a few things growing and a nosh in the background. So, I shall be seeing you all again next time. <laughs>